How to set storage connection string from .NET. Step 1. Create an Azure storage account. Note, how to create an Azure storage account please see our Create Azure Storage on Windows Azure video. Step 2. Set up a storage connection string. The Azure Storage Client Library for .NET supports using a storage connection string to configure endpoints and credentials for accessing storage services. If your application runs in an Azure Cloud service, save your connection string using the Azure Service Configuration System. If your application runs on Azure Virtual Machines, or if you are building .NET applications that will run outside of Azure, save your connection string using the .NET Configuration System. Step 3. Configuring your connection string from an Azure Cloud service. Open Visual Studio 2010 or above. Step 4. Click on File, then click on New Project. Step 5. Expand Visual C Sharp, then select Cloud, select, Get Windows Azure SDK for .NET, then click on OK button. Step 6. Select ASP.NET Web Role, and this service, then click on OK button. Note, click on below link for installing Azure SDK. If already installed in your local machine please ignore it. Step 7. Click on Solution Explorer of Visual Studio. In the Roles folder of your Azure deployment project, right click your web role 1 or worker role and click Properties. Step 8. Click the Settings tab and press the Add Setting button. Step 9. In the type drop-down of the new setting 1 entry, choose connection string. Click here on this button at the right end of the setting 1 entry. Step 10. The storage account connection string dialog will open. Choose whether you want and click on OK button. Step 11. Change the entry name from setting 1 to a friendlier name like storage connection string. For training, support and consulting inquires. Mail us, training at bispsolutions.com. Our website is www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.